Hi, Tappers. Today, we're going to talk about how to challenge reality, meaning if something feels 100% true or it's been such a consistent standard in your life that you don't even know to question it to get it out of your way, how do you find it and test to see if you want it or not? I recently learned this for myself in a counseling session. It's a lifelong journey to see where these blind spots of truth exist for you. So just know this is a journey, not a crash course. I was talking with my therapist about not feeling confident. I explained how I knew I was doing things that were really good, but that I still didn't feel like a person doing really awesome things. And I didn't understand how I was missing my outcome. What she told me blew me away. She said that confidence isn't an outcome, it's a skill. If this were true, then I would never reach confidence. And the way I had thought my whole life was a way to gain confidence, which is to become good at something and gain confidence that, well, now you are good at it. I suppose that part worked, but then I was taught that you would also feel confident in it. That part never happened. So I assumed I just hadn't succeeded yet to the point that would allow me to feel confident. Turns out allowing oneself to feel confident is a skill and a conscious effort to shift a mindset. As soon as I knew that, I began making progress. Recently in a session with a client, I also watched a realization about something in their life have a similar outcome. My client exclaimed, is that not normal? You mean not everyone feels that way? It is helpful to have someone to talk to who can guide you in questioning what you have stated as fact, because oftentimes it's so ingrained, we don't even think that we have just stated anything that could be significant. But we are all about DIY on this channel, so I'm going to give you my best workarounds for doing this solo. First, it's easier if you target something that is currently in your way and has you a bit bothered, it makes it more enticing to resolve. Second, you will want to write it down in some format. Typing is fine, you just need a way to track your words and your progress as you go. You never know what's gonna trigger the realization, and sometimes this can get into pretty deep thought and you don't wanna forget with whatever it is that you just came up with. And if you have trouble coming up with anything at all, I've got something for that too. But let's start with you having an idea. Let's say you want more money. Maybe you spend more than you want to. You don't make as much as you want to. Maybe you're scared of losing what you have, or you're afraid it won't always be enough, or you feel not having more money is in your way of being happier, etc. Write down all of your opinions and facts. We are not splitting hairs yet. Once you have all of your statements down, take a look at them again. If anything new pops up, write those new thoughts down too. You don't have to keep them in any specific order. Now look at your statements as a whole and see if there's a common theme that you can question. Why will money make me happier? Why is money so hard to get? Your answer will likely be a fact. More money means more choices. Honest money means hard work and that's the only honorable money to earn. Once you have your fact or facts, rate them on a scale of zero to 100% of how true they feel. Now let's tap. Even though right now I believe this truth, I am open to finding a new perspective. Once you have repeated that three times, you become curious. I wonder, when I hear myself say this truth, whose voice do I hear? Is it mine or someone else's? How old am I when I hear this? What do I believe about myself when I hear this? Spend time exploring this and reassure yourself often that it's okay that you believe this and that you are open to finding something else. Once you find something that makes you gasp, zero in on that. I had a client discover that the base belief for a physical ailment was that it was how to receive nurturing due to how their parents demonstrated this. They had that gasp moment and their ailment was instantly better after years of resistance to heavy medications. You'll know when you've found it. But let's say you aren't finding it or you don't even know where to begin. Give yourself some input to begin having opinions on. If it's about money, pull up a podcast or an interview of someone talking about financial planning or financial freedom. Whether it's someone you admire, irritates you, or someone you have no idea who they are, you will have opinions on what they say. Those are what you write down to make your list to look for a common thread. Remember, what you find will feel very much like a fact, and you may feel resistant to challenge it or even want to defend it because you want it to be true. Simply give yourself permission to be curious about it. It is also completely fine for you to come to the realization that your truth is actually true, and now you know to look somewhere else for what is in your way. 
I hope this helps and I'll see you soon.